I was driving earlier and I came out with this, so check this out. These are the things that we know, and let me put it down right here for you guys first. First, let's look at E versus pi. Which one's bigger? Well, of course, we know that pi is bigger. Please do not put on equal sign, okay? Now, number two, let's look at E and also pi right here, but I'm going to put down pi's power here and E's power here. Which one's bigger now? Of course, this is going to be bigger because we have this video right here. Aha! Uh -huh. And now let's look at number three. Of course, E to the pi and then pi to the E, but I'm going to put on another E's power here and another pi's power here. Now, which one's bigger? Of course, this is going to be bigger because we know that e to the pi is bigger than pi to the e by number two and then pi is bigger than e by number one so of course this is going to be bigger than that done deal now this is what i would like to ask you number four right here let's write that down again e to the pi to the e and then pi to the e to the pi and you know i'm going to put on another pi's power here and then another e's power here now which one's bigger i'll give you guys five seconds five four three two one um I actually do not have a solution for you guys. I only have a calculator solution, okay? Wolf on Alpha solution, technically. This is going to be bigger. And do not enter this on Wolf on Alpha because it won't work. So what you should be doing is compare the LN values on both sides, okay? So if you do that, on the left-hand side, this and that will cancel. We just have pi to the e to the pi. And on the right-hand side, we can bring that to the front. So we will have e to the pi to the e times LN pi. And then now we enter this on the Wolf on Alpha. This right here is going to give you 6.5 times 10 to the 9th power. And this right here will give you 3.2 times 10 to the 11th power. Yes, this is the Wolf on Alpha solution. If you know a calculus solution or any kind of solutions more legitimate, 